Running back 18, Leonard Fournette of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He is one of the most fascinating cases in football. 76 catches, 522 receiving yards, 1,152 rushing yards, four yards a carry, and yet through all that, only three touchdowns. For an offense that wasn't bad, I mean, Gardner Minshew had them going up and down the field. They had DJ Chark, who was a top receiver. Uh, they had uh, Conley, who wasn't uh, a bad number two receiver. So I, I don't understand his failures to score, uh, except I guess they're just not able to run the ball in the red zone very well, which is a concern. I mean, I still have him as an RB2 because even with those yardage and catch totals, uh, he's an RB2 if he doesn't score a touchdown all season. But I have him kind of right in the middle of the pack of RB2s, but I feel like if he if he doubles that touchdown total, which isn't unreasonable, even if he tripled it, you would say, well, that's reasonable for a guy of this production value. Um, then I, I, he'll be easily an RB1. So I, I just don't know what to think about Leonard Fournette. Obviously, he had injury issues his first couple years. Uh, will Gardner Minshew, uh, you know, regress this year a bit, uh, as, as sometimes quarterbacks do in their sophomore season in the NFL? I don't know, but uh, I, like I, I mean, I'm down to take Fournette in the third or fourth round for sure as my RB two. But again, there's just that concern about first of all injuries, but then second of all, if his production, uh, you know, yardage wise goes down just a little, and he's still not able to score. Well, you know, you might be looking at him as a flex guy, and now you're struggling at RB2. So it's a tough situation with, with Leonard Fournette, but I'd expect that touchdown total to go up and him to be as solid an RB2 as they come. And if he can increase that RB1 status, for sure.